All right. Um, so this is the letter you have written down, uh, Miss Jenny Atad, the nursing director, uh, the community home care agency. Um, you don't need to leave a gap between the name of the address and then the you know the organization. You, you you just need to you know write them down together. But after that, you need to leave a blank line and then the date, and then again the blank line and then the you know, the address is uh, salutation. So you have done that correctly. I'm happy with that. And then you have to write down this one. Um, yeah, Dr. Robin Howard, date of birth, uh, 4 February, okay, whatever it is, 1950. Um, I'm writing this letter to refer to Mrs. Howard, who was admitted into, okay. Remember that admitted always needs to. It doesn't admitted okay. admit what, you know, whether it is the plural noun, or sorry, the, the present verb or the, or the future or the past verb, or even the future verb, you need only mm. two. You know, the preposition will be two. Two is the correct preposition. Okay. Some people use in, she, she, who was admitted in the hospital. No, that's wrong as well. Admitted to the hospital or to our hospital two weeks okay. ago. They were to write partial uh, rotator cuff tear. Okay. Don't use capital R here. Just use the small okay. R, it's okay. Due to right partial rotator cuff tear. Okay, so apart from that, it's okay. Uh, in this, whole, in the first sentence, let's go through the next one. She requires ongoing medical and social assistance after her discharge today, perfect. So the introduction paragraph is really good without these mistakes. Without those mistakes, you could have got really good score. And I would recommend you not to write down the name of a person uh, by splitting you know, two commas in between. If you feel okay. that you can't write down Mrs. Harwood here completely, start writing okay. down from the next line. Okay. It is applicable for all the words, not only the name of the patient. Do you understand? Yes. You need to write full Sir, words, okay? Uh, yes. Uh, before we have learned about the comma rules, no, sir? Yes, yes, Here that's right. Here we can put the comma after. Oh, she didn't, oh yeah, she didn't come at, yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. I didn't notice the comma. Oh, there is yeah. a comma here, right? Yeah, uh, this needs to be removed. Okay. This needs to be removed, yeah, because you didn't write it down, you know, here. Um, um, and, uh, yes, sir, actually it's not. So it's not a comma? It's not, sir. Actually, I want to erase it and rewrite in that process. I missed that one. You missed it. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, so you need to... Yeah, anyway, you need to erase this, okay? All right, yes. but apart from that, this letter, this introduction paragraph is good, okay? okay. So okay. it's clearly mentioned, okay? All four um, assessment uh, criteria are uh, fulfilled in this introduction paragraph. So I'm very happy for that. Uh, but yeah, Joe's okay. uh, small, simple mistakes, okay? Yes. I think yes. maybe in the next couple of yes. sessions, uh, what I'm planning to do is to go through the use of prepositions and articles, all right? Mm. So that can be helpful for you guys. And I'm also going to share, you know, a couple of videos like on my YouTube channel. And I recommend you guys to share with your friends and other, um, you know, people who are preparing for the OET or IELTS or PT examinations. It may be helpful for them, for them. okay? All right, let's go through this. So apart from those small mistakes, you know, minor mistakes, you, your introduction paragraph is good enough. Let's go to the next one. Socially, that's good, yeah. Whenever you use any main idea phrase, you need to place a comma after that. That's good. So Mrs. Harwood is a widow uh, who lives alone. That's good. Here you go. You made a good, good, good sentence. I'm very happy for you. So don't write Mrs. Harwood is a widow, comma lives alone. No, that's wrong. Okay. So you need to use it correctly. Okay. So you have defined this one. So that's good. I'm happy for you. She has no other family members despite of her what? Despite of her niece, no, that doesn't make sense. And I'll okay. tell you, despite mm. itself, despite of itself is an incorrect phrase. We have got mm. either in spite of or despite only. No, there is no of after that, okay? Okay. She has no uh, other family members apart from her niece, okay? She has no okay. family members. What you could have done is that she can, mm. she has no family members um, apart from her niece, okay? Of course. All right. Or excluding her niece, okay? So something like that. Hmm. Let's go to the next one. So Mrs. Megan Mark 
uh, who lives. Okay, so is this a comma? Full stop, sir. So full stop. Yes. Sir. And what did you write it down, Mrs. Megan? Mark. Actually, who is this? Yeah, yeah. Later, I described, sir. Actually, Mr. Megan oh. Mark who lives in Sydney with her husband. She, yeah. Ah. Actually, later part, I I thought uh, maybe you should rewrite, but. Uh, you okay, should have read it because no, yes, this sir. is wrong. This yes, is wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you should have mentioned like she has uh, no family friends apart from mm. her niece, and then there should be a comma. Mrs. Uh, comma. Megan uh, Mark, mm. who lives in Sydney with her husband. You can put a full oh. stop here after with her oh. husband. Okay. So there should be a comma here. All right. And then, uh, hey, sorry, wait a minute. Yeah, comma. Yes, that's right. Because we are going to define. You know, her knees, isn't it? So comma, and then again this comma here as well. Comma, okay. Who lives? Uh, her knees, comma. Mrs. May Megan Mark, who lives in Sydney with her husband. You don't need to place a comma here. It's okay. Just only one comma here. That's it. And then you need to put a full stop here. Okay. Oh, okay. And you can write she is also Miss Mrs. Harwood's so, next uh, of kin. Sir, sir, I have one doubt. Yes. So yes. um, I. I can write. She has no other family members apart from her. Niece. No, she has no family members. Uh, okay. You can remove other here. Okay. So she has no family members. Uh, yeah. Apart niece. from her niece, Kama, Kama? Mrs. Megan okay. Mark, who, who lives, who lives okay. in Sydney with her husband. That's Actually, it. with her husband also, I no need to write, sir. Yeah, I think yeah. I mean, you don't need to mention this one. We'll Describe go through the cases. Like yes. We don't okay, need to mention, uh, okay. you know, her husband who lives in Sydney. Yeah, that's okay, I believe, because you are mm -hmm. writing to uh, the nursing director, community home care agency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think yeah, maybe you can you can write, okay. but we'll go through the case notes. Then we'll get okay, to know. Okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. All right, and then she is. Uh, so you can use the next sentence. You can write it down. Okay. She is also Mrs. Uh, Harwood's next of kin, and you need to write down Mrs. Har Woods. Okay, mm -hmm. don't like split the name of the person, it's very bad. You're just okay. cutting the patient into two pieces, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so it's not Sorry. good, right? Yeah, okay. okay. In terms of Mrs. Harwood's medical background, that's good. Remember that background is one word only, and don't give any gap in between. Okay, okay, background is one word only. She has been taking met, uh, metformin 500 mg main uh, for type 2 diabetes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's all right. So it's ongoing, right? She 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 has yes, been sir. taking this. Okay, it's ongoing. Yes, sir. It's all right. Okay. Yes. During Mrs. Harwood's uh, hospitalization, that's good. Her um, MRI. Okay. Can, can you please expand MRI if you know it? Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. it is always recommended to expand it okay you might have seen in some of the letters uh, written by others um, with these abbreviations and st still they might have got good scores but um, mm. i wouldn't recommend you guys to do because it is one of the assessment criteria okay mm. you need to ensure that you don't write any abbreviations try to expand all of them okay okay all right sir. so during Ms. mrs hardwood's hospitalization her mri and x-ray showed um, a right Okay, it's again capital R, I believe, or small R. And small R. Okay. I right realize. partial rotator cuff tear. Okay, due to um, due to due fall to on her outstretched outstretched arm at home. Okay, that's all right. As a result, of, oh my God! See what you have done. You have uh, you have tried to change the noun into verb. Okay, but that's wrong. As a result, don't don't write as a result. Okay, that okay. is wrong. As a result, comma she has preferred non-surgical treatment, although surgery was suggested by uh, orthopedic surgeon. Okay, let's go through this. Why did you write down as a result? I don't think um, as a result would be is required. Yeah, would be would be okay. uh, correct here in this case. Okay. Okay. I thought um, it's a like continuation for the investigations. Uh, then you have the to use. Um, yeah. Then done? you have to use 
um, in the following consultation, she has preferred or she, yeah, she has preferred non-surgical treatments. Okay, in the following consultations. Okay, all right. Or uh, maybe, you know, in her visit, uh, she, 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 she has expressed interest to go through non-surgical treatment, something like that, you know. <laughs> Although surgery was suggested by the or by an orthopedic surgeon. Okay, you have to use an article before orthopedic surgeon. Okay. By the orthopedic surgeon. Okay. She was treated with ibuprofen orally. Um, you know, QID. You have to represent, uh, you know, the full form. Expand. Yeah, okay. you have to expand. Yeah. okay so I that's the one. Yes. The second para, uh, yes. manage should be replaced, no sir. Manage. No, no, no. Where did you mention this? Metformin five hundred and main. Okay. Yeah, the, the, this the, one, uh, metformin. This one. She has been taking. Yeah, she has been taking. Right. It's okay. No, metformin five hundred mg manage for type two diabetes. That I think should be right in, in the morning like that. But oh yeah, yeah okay, okay. So yeah, this is uh, this is this needs to be in, um, like expanded, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So man, you know, man is is one of the um, abbreviations. So I think yeah, you should have done that. I didn't, I didn't, uh, yeah, know it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. Sorry. Uh, should yeah. I need to expand, sir? Yes, of course, of course, yes. Okay. You should have in done. the morning. Yes. All the dosages, okay, all the frequencies okay. need to be expanded, please. Okay. Sir. Do not uh, write. Okay. No abbreviations. In in short, no abbreviations need to be used in your letter. Simple. Okay. okay. Keep it simple. You okay. always need to expand all the abbreviations. That's all. Whether it is the frequency or the dosage or the you know tests or you know whatever you want to you know write, you have to expand it always. Okay. 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 All right. So just suggested by the okay. She, she was treated with ibuprofen orally. Uh, this needs to be expanded. And then cortisone injections for her pain and weakness in the right shoulder. Yeah, so everything else is all right. Um, let's go to the next page. I think that's the one. Uh, let me go through this quickly. Okay. After Mrs. Harwood's discharge, could you please monitor her blood glucose level four hourly due to her uh, cortisone? I told you, what did I tell you? You have to place a question mark here. No full stop. Because it's oh, a question. Okay. Could you please? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, is it like due to her abnormal cortisone or? Uh, because cortisone is the steroid, sir. So oh, due, due to, to okay. one, her sugar levels will be raised. Yeah. Okay, due to her medication, isn't it? So it's a, it's, a, yes, it's, it's a kind of medication that, I mean, medication it's like an injection. Therapy. Okay, yeah, cortisone injection, yes. right? So due to her medication, okay, yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Kindly assist, uh, you know, with the housework. And assist with the housework, okay? Housework must be one word only, okay? You know, okay. housework and uh, shower. Okay, all right, and shower. Um, also, please follow, okay, in addition, okay? Oh, yes. Yeah. In addition, uh, please follow up. Follow up must be um, uh, must must have an hyphen in between syllable. Follow up her Sorry. orthopedic review on one. Is it zero eight uh, eleven? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, that's wrong. There's no date yeah. zero eight. And try yes. not to use this form when you need to write down in the paragraphs. You can write down this form okay. when you when when you write down the date of the letter on the top, but inside mm. the paragraphs, okay, it's not recommended to write down. And if it is falling on okay. the same year, we don't need to include the year. We just only mm. write down the date and the and the month. That's on it. The, For example, August on eight. five July, that's it. On five oh. August, that's okay. it. On six August, that's it. Otherwise, August. on the fifth of August or on the 5th of July, that's it. Again, we don't write down the, the year, okay? Mm -hmm. Lastly, would you be okay, able so. to, would you able to, would you be able to motivate her to engage in daily mm -hmm. activities and daily physiotherapy, okay? Um, in daily activities and physiotherapy, that's okay. I mean, you don't need to use daily twice. 
daily. Okay. Yes. You can remove daily here and you have to write down okay. be able. Would you be able? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for agreeing uh, to provide home care. Uh, yes. Yes, Lijimo, uh, do you have any questions? I have one doubt, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Four hourly or fourth hourly is correct, sir. Uh, you can, you know, if you have, you know, a question in this one, it's like it's every four of us. You can write down, you know, the every four of us. Every four of us. Every four of us. Yeah, every and then space and then four and then space and then hours. So that's that's what they're saying, you know, four hourly, which means uh, it's like weekly. Do you know what I mean? Weekly or fortnightly, monthly, something like that. So it's, it's one frequency, yes. which is okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is all right, but you can you instead of that you can say every four of us. That's okay. That's okay. that okay. is more formal actually. I would recommend okay. you to use you know more formal words like every four of us. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, thank you for agreeing to provide care, home care for Mrs. Harwood. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, please refer her address. Um, this address could have been mentioned maybe before this. Thank you. Or you could have mentioned okay, here, or you okay. could have mentioned somewhere, you know, where you have mentioned it, like she lives in somewhere in the social okay. background, you could have mentioned mm -hmm. this one, or you could have mentioned, you know, just before this, okay, in the concluding paragraph itself, you could have mentioned okay. before this, okay, I mean, thank you, and then asking the questions need to be the final one. Final. Okay, that's the okay. proper order. Okay, that's the correct okay. order. Okay, so don't okay. include it here. Please refer her home address, okay, which I attached below. No, you don't need to write like this. Okay. You can use, you know, Mrs. Uh, please note that Mrs. Jim James or whatever the, the name, okay, the patient lives okay. at, and then you can write down 8 Peach Street, New Farm, and okay. her contact number is, and then you write down this one, okay? Don't use the, you know, the brackets, okay? It's not good. Okay, and you sir. need to always, you know, expand it, okay? Don't write PH. You need to say, and okay. her phone number is, mm. okay? She lives at this one and can be contacted at and then you have to write down the then the phone number okay. fully okay okay you were okay. sincerely Kama, the registered nurse sonia matthews yeah that's okay yeah some words could have been rectified but apart from that i think yeah this one sounds good to me uh, i hope you have included all the relevant case notes okay let me go through this quickly and we'll see you know if you have included the case notes um, Time ago, that's okay. Hospital, Robin Harwood, they say the patient didn't care. Um, okay, that's all right. That's okay. Even though the Lord Children lives around. You have already mentioned uh, live salon, isn't it? Huh? So, yeah, that, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to mention their uh, name, but you know, you can mention, you know, who lives with their husband in Sydney. That's okay. Yes. No, the relatives, that's good. You don't need to include this one. Sister died mm. recently. It's not needed. It's, you know, everything we are telling everything, you know, correctly. So we don't yes. need to include it. That's good. And this too, yeah, that's good as well. I'm happy with that you have included all the relevant case notes. Let's go through the next one. Uh, partial rotated cuff tear. That's okay. But then it's good. I would pain in the right shoulder, especially when lifting on overhead. Uh, this next tires at home and slipped falling into it's just down. Yeah, I think it's good. You know, you have shortened the information. That's good. I'm happy for you. So I think uh, she had a fall at her home on the outstretched arm. That's what you, you mentioned. So that's yes, good. Sir. That's good. You don't need to mention these things, you know, whether it is a descending stairs or the ascending stairs, you know. Yes, sir. So it's okay. I mean, like, what, what you need to clearly mention this one. This is more important. Okay. It's an MRI show report. That's okay. I think we can discuss two surgery patients before. Okay. Try not to use the same words. Okay. Under vocabulary, oh. it's better to, you know, use. I mean, the patient would like to. Would okay. Yeah, would like to. Yeah, would like to um, have non-surgical okay. methods to treat her uh, tear. Okay, something like that. You know, although um, you know, orthopedic surgeon, um, although the orthopedic surgeon 
uh, recommended her the, the surgery okay something like that you try to okay. use you know something some synonyms okay don't write down the same words please and okay. ensure that the synonyms you are using are the in with are the formal words okay mm. okay that's good uh, yeah i'm very happy that you have interpreted this dates you know the duration if, if you guys do these kinds of things you will get really good marks for example the date of admission and then the discharge if it is like one week after that then you can mention after one week okay yes. or you know if it is two days just mention two days don't write down on this date she was admitted and this date she is discharging no if you mention like uh, a couple of days you know after staying for two days she is discharged today that's good okay that's how you need to do it and you did a good job okay i be proven orally that's all right you need to expand these things daily physiotherapy that's okay it's blood glucose level monitoring four hourly every four hours so try to try not to you know use the same words i mean like write down every four hours okay I may be elevated because of cortisol. Okay, need to sit in the shower and have a look. Okay, try not to use the same same thing. I think it's it's better to write down, uh, you know, domestic help and shower. Okay, and bath, okay. bath thing, bath. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could have mentioned. Okay. Domestic chores and bath. I mean, don't don't write you know housework again and again. Okay. okay I mean, instead of writing assistance, you could have mentioned something else, maybe support. Mm -hmm. uh in her shower in her bath and uh, domestic support to help her uh, in domestic chores and bath bath yeah okay. i think yeah, everything is good okay you have included all the relevant case notes i'm very happy for your letter and oh. but unfortunately you know the problem areas are grammar you know one of the major yeah, mistakes yes. but i'm very happy that you have improved a lot under grammar okay it's really good yes. you know i think you you may you have made a very good progress in grammar and the other thing is you know the vocabulary needs to be improved you have to use some synonyms at least as much as you can okay sir and try to use the formal words and no abbreviations okay. are allowed okay in your, in your letter okay, it's not good okay okay, um, okay yeah and the use of prepositions i think it one of the prepositions you didn't oh yeah the articles yeah articles is the, well. the orthopedic surgeon the, the yes. orthopedic yeah so apart from that yeah it's all good yeah i'm very happy for you i think this okay. letter may be able to get c plus grade maybe okay maybe okay sir. at 300 okay. maybe okay okay right. uh how many mistakes did you commit can you can you tell me the number okay. of mistakes okay sir one two, three. but i think it's less than the previous one isn't it you can compare it you know with your previous with the previous feedback that i gave you yes sir yes sir now mistakes are uh, 12 sir 12 okay previously what how many mistakes did you commit Mm. I think it was lot, around twenty yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, twenty twenty yes, twenty-five yes, something like that. But it's good, you know. It's it's improving. I'm very happy for you. Okay. Yes. But sir. you know, try to be careful about those mistakes. Okay. Try not to commit okay, them sir. again, because I, okay. you know, I'm sick and tired of, uh, you know, looking at the same mistakes. So if you can yes, commit sir. some new mistakes, you are welcome. I'm very yeah. happy. I'm very happy yes, to, um, okay. you know, see the new mistakes anyway. Uh, okay. all right guys um i hope the session was useful to you today uh, because we went through two different things one was the uh, the use of uh, punctuation marks and the other is the assessment of one of the letters written written down by uh, samantha um, our uh, student so do you have any questions so far for the session no sir thank you all right no worries i hope you know when we assess you know the letter from other students also we will get to know uh, you know the obvious mistake sometimes you may also get a uh, few other ideas that may be helpful to you as well and that's why i just would like to share you know some kinds of letters so that um, it would be beneficial for everyone okay yeah, anyway thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow take yeah, care good night good night take care bye bye bye